my name is Audrey and I'm the Education Programs Manager here at the Texas Ranger Hall of Fame. And welcome to Storytime with Audrey. Today we are going to be reading Heart of Texas, A Lone Star ABC. Written by Laura Kraus Melman and illustrated by Franny Lassac. And I do want to give a special shout out to the Waco McLennan County Public Library because that's where we got the book for today's story time. All right, let's get started. Heart of Texas, A Lone Star ABC. A is for Alamo. Here brave troops displayed their courage when they vowed to take a stand to win liberty for Texas under Travis's command. And though woefully outnumbered facing Santa Ana's might, they chose never to surrender as they waged their valiant fight. And the cool thing about this book is each page has a lot of other facts that I'm not gonna read to you today, but if you check this book out yourself, you can read them and learn more. B is for Big Bend National Park. Rushing river, rugged canyons, dusty desert, mountains tall. Burly bears and lurking lions, Big Bend Park has got them all. Hike a rocky trail or bird watch, raft the rapids or canoe, climb a mountain peak and marvel at the never ending view. Cowgirl Museum and Hall of Fame, Fort Worth, C. They were pioneers and artists, stars of rodeo and screen, fearless girls who tamed wild stallions, fast as any horse you've seen. From O'Keefe to Annie Oakley, this museum shows the best of the women who embody the bold spirit of the West. D is for Dallas Cowboys. They are cowboys without horses, for pro football is their game. Wearing white and blue and silver, they have scored their way to fame. And a roar goes up like thunder at their home games or away as the fans cheer on the Cowboys while they execute each play. E is for Enchanted Rock. This immense pink dome of granite is a rock of lofty height. Legend says it might be haunted, for it sometimes creaks at night. You can climb it, then go camping in the huge surrounding park. It's the perfect place to picnic and to stargaze after dark. F is for Fiestas Patrias, Houston. He was called Father Hidalgo, and he made a heartfelt plea to end Spanish domination and help Mexico go free. Now the call for liberation that this daring priest once made is a cause for celebration with a party and parade. G is for Galveston Strand. It was once the business center of a booming Texas town. Then a storm of crushing power almost brought the city down. But the people built a seawall as a shield from future harm and restored the fine old buildings to their former Southern charm. H is for Houston Space Center. You're aboard a NASA shuttle as it hurtles towards the stars on a spacewalk floating weightless or controlling probes on Mars. At Kids Space Place, Blast Off Theater, or on Johnson Center Tours, when your mind is on space travel, your imagination soars. I is for island. There's an island known as Padre, long and narrow as a spear. You can water ski or kayak, search for shells or windsurf here. Make a visit to the lighthouse or just swim and play and doze until ghost crabs skitter past you as the day draws to a close.
J is for Juneteenth Festival. Lincoln made a proclamation back in 1863 saying slavery was outlawed and all people must go free. But for slaves who lived in Texas, it took years before they heard. Now the Juneteenth celebrations mark the month they got the word. K is for the Kennedy Museum or Sixth Floor Museum. A shot rang out in Dallas, a president was slain, a nation watched in horror, then wept in shock and pain. This museum tells what happened that sad and fateful day and helps the world remember the life of JFK. L is for Longhorn Trail. Oh, the story of the Chisholm is a long and dusty tale of 300,000 Longhorns herded yearly on that trail. Boss and Wrangler, Cook and Cowboy drove those cattle north and then said goodbye to them in Kansas and rode south to start again. M is for Mission San Antonio. To convert the native Texans, Catholic priests were sent from Spain, and together they built missions that to this day still remain. From this meeting of two cultures that began so long ago, grew the fascinating city known as San Antonio. N is for New Braunfels. German families came to Texas and they stayed to stake their claims, building towns such as New Braunfels that still carry German names. Now in music, food, and culture, German influence abounds, as in Schlitterbahn and Wurstfest and Tejano's blended sounds. O is for oil wells. Tales of Spindletop in Texas through the years have been retold. How a man whose name was Higgins drilled the earth and hit black gold. Other drill drillers came a Russian as more and more was found. They rejoiced to th see their fortune come a gushing from the ground. P is for panhandle. Some compare this part of Texas to the handle of a pan. Its vast miles of rolling grassland have been changed by modern man. Now on land where hunters wandered and the longhorns rambled free, you'll find cities, farms, and ranches where wild spaces used to be. Q is for Quarter Horse Museum. Much beloved by cowboy, cowgirl, racehorse owner, pioneer, this fine steed known as Steel Dust helped to settle the frontier. From a working horse to show horse to racer of great speed, it's the quarter horse of Texas, a most legendary breed. R is for Republic of Texas. Fighting Mexico for freedom, Texas finally stood alone, with one star upon its banner as a country of its own. Nine years after independence, Texas joined the USA, and the Lone Star waves on proudly over Texas to this day. S is for Southwestern Exposition. Bronco riding, rope, and wrestling, it takes bravery and skill to perform the feats of daring to which audiences thrill. The Southwestern Exposition, pull your boots on and let's go to a genuine rip roaring, rootin' tootin' rodeo. T is for train. Once this railway line was nicknamed for a hairy, scary bug. But don't worry, you won't see one when old Puffy starts to chug. From the stockyard, stockyards to Old Grapevine and along the Chisholm Trail, let the Grapevine Railroad take you to the Old West via rail. Z 
U is University of Texas, Austin. A vast school of higher learning, almost 50,000 strong. White and orange are its colors, Eyes of Texas is its song. And its campus is in Austin, home to barbecue and bats, music clubs and politicians, business suits and cowboy hats. V is for Viva El Paso. It's the story of El Paso told in drama, song, and dance. Tales of gunfights, priests, explorers, cattle rustlers, and romance. From a wild west trading post to the city that we know, you'll see history unfolding at this starlit outdoor show. Wildflowers, W, Lady Bird Johnson Wildflower Center. She was wife to Lyndon Johnson, and she wanted to ensure that our country's natural beauty would exist forevermore. As you ramble through her gardens, bright and blooming, you will see what a precious gift this lady has bestowed on you and me. X is for Texas State Fair. As you know, if you're from Texas, everything is bigger there. Like Big Tex the Giant Cowboy, who will greet you at the fair. Yep, the Big State Fair of Texas with its 24-day run is where folks throng by the millions for a heap of Texas fun. Y is for Isleta Pueblo. Pueblo dwellers called the Tigua settled here and made a home. They built Isleta Mission with its shining silver dome. They have many old traditions that they were once forced to hide, but now they're free to practice with much dignity and pride. Z is for Zilker Park, Austin. Grab your bathing suit and towel, then dive in and splash around in a giant pool of water pumping out from underground. Toss a frisbee or go caving, try your hand at making rain, or explore the park while riding on the Zephyr Mini Train. The end. I do want to thank everyone for joining us for today's Storytime with Audrey, and I hope you can join us next time. Bye-bye now.